The bodies of a small child and a man were pulled out of the Tennessee River in Perry County today. Our Dryden Quigley shares new details of what police believe happened. The Perry County Sheriff's Office believes that a father and his child fell into the river while they were fishing on one of the gravel pits. Now, although there are many of these no trespassing signs, they say it is a popular fishing spot. Today is a sad day in Perry County. Around 7 this morning, this is where a Rogers Group employee found the body of a four or five year old child in the water. They called police who came out and dragged this part of the Tennessee River. That's when they found a man's body. Police believe a dad took his child out fishing on Tuesday evening. Sometime after five, they fell into the river without life vests and were swept away in the current. Recently, there's been lots of current um, around this location to where they were at. There's gravel stacked up uh, several feet high. That gravel can give away and off in the water you go. Uh, it's just a really dangerous place to uh, to go and spend a day with your family. The spot where they were is owned by the Rogers Group and is private property, but people ignore the warning signs. This is uh, one of many deaths or drownings that we've seen in this area uh, over the years. The Perry County Sheriff's Office is still telling the family about the accident, so they're not releasing the names at this point. In Perry County, Dryden Quigley, WSMV4.